Hey guys, it's Kamaya. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, our setting is a little bit different. We are in my closet and today we are talking all things bags. In no specific order, I'm just gonna show you my 10 favorite bags that are in my closet presently. And to give you guys like a little bit of a background as to why they mean so much to me, um, where they were purchased at, you know, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna get to these ones later. So I'm gonna head over here to grab one first. So the first one that I am grabbing is this multicolor Chanel boy bag. It's from a cruise collection from I wanna say like 2016 maybe. Don't quote me on that, all you Chanel fanatics. I absolutely love this bag. Just the colors, the detail in it. It was a really exclusive drop. They didn't make too, too many of it. And I've actually seen this bag sought after and people paying damn near double the price for what it was originally purchased for. So it's kind of one of my investment pieces, I like to call it. Yeah, she's just super cute. She's fun, she's giving you Easter. She's giving you spring, just super cute. You can dress her up, you can dress her down, you can throw her on with some colorful tennis shoes or put a cute heel on with her, but this is definitely one of my babies. I will go here next. This is, to me, just one of the most classic bags that you can have. This is a Hermes Birkin 30. Classy, can be dressed up, she can be dressed down. I think that's kind of the category that a lot of my bags are gonna fall into. I feel like when shopping for bags, I always want something that's extremely versatile, convenient. I don't have too many small, small bags. Um, I might have a couple. Yeah, I got a couple of them, but not too many. <laughs> this is actually really, really special to me too because she was my first Birkin. Thank you, baby. She actually went with me when I went wedding dress shopping, so she will forever hold a very special place in my heart. Next, I feel like I gotta go here. My husband, for a living, dribbles this and shoots this. And I just think it's so cute. It's from Andrea Burgard. I actually have one. Three, four balls from her collection. They're all basketballs, but like different color variations. And I just think it's super cute and it's super creative because she used an actual basketball and cut a hole in it and added a zipper and a long chain. And it's just so cute. I'll be at the games walking by with my little basketball bag. Like put me in coach. <laughs> The kids love it, they think it's a ball. My bag has definitely got thrown on the ground multiple times because my kids try and bounce it. It's basketball, who doesn't love it? So next, we are going to talk about this baby. I searched for this bag for probably a year and a half and I still wasn't the one to find it. So one of my very, very good friends, Arthur, he found this baby for me. I was the happiest girl in the world. These are super, super exclusive, super, super hard to find. It comes in black, it comes in white, it comes in nude. So far I only have the black one, but I'm looking to finish the collection. Just super cute, kind of flirty, you know. Hearts, Chanel, I just feel like they go one in one. She's a vintage piece. Definitely another one of those investment pieces that I was telling you guys about. I ain't gonna tell y'all how much above retail I had to pay for her, but in about 10 years, I can only imagine what she's gonna be worth. So she definitely is very, very special to me. I keep her up on the shelf. The next bag we are going to talk about here is this beautiful Louis Vuitton Croc bag. First of all, can we get into this color? Blue is one of my favorite colors. This type of blue mixed with the croc skin, I just feel like this is a timeless beauty for sure. Um, I've only worn her once, maybe twice, just because I'm so scared like that she'll get a scratch or something will happen to her. The next baby I'm gonna bring over is this beauty. This is a Gucci bag. And what's so special to me about this bag is we actually got this when we were on an anniversary trip in South of France. This specific bag is actually exclusive to Saint Tropez. We got it over there when we were staying in Nice. I personally love Gucci and especially when you find like their rare bags, like this is a collector. Forever loved, this green is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. I love her, that's why she's on my top 10. Now here's where it starts to get tricky because I'm getting down to like my final numbers but I have so many different bags to go through still. But you know what? I think I know where I'm going next. So this next one is actually a two part. How many bags do we have so far? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Okay, perfect. So numbers seven and eight go hand in hand because they're sisters. Meet Thelma and Luis. <laughs> These little babies were actually Mother's Day gifts from my husband. This is a Birkin 28. Now Thelma is a pink Kelly 28 and they both have long straps. No, I'm lying. The Kelly has a long strap, look at me. Get it together, Cam. Yellow is actually my favorite color and pink is my second favorite color, so you couldn't have gone wrong with Thelma and Louise baby at all, so. Now I don't wanna veer too far off from the family, so we're gonna go to their cousin here for a second for number nine. He doesn't have a name though. I say it's a he, cause he's bringing like big boy energy. When I carry him, you gotta call me Big Cam. <laughs> this is a Birkin. Something that is super, super unique about this is it's part of a collaboration with JR. He is a designer. I believe he's UK based, but every single detail on this bag is hand stitched. Just the time put into this, if you really look at this, like, it's just crazy to look at the detail in it. And another reason that this one is so cool to me is because he actually matches the interior of my truck. I have a black Rolls Royce Cullinan and the interior is literally this exact same color. So when I'm in the truck and I'm carrying this baby, you just can't tell me nothing. Okay. So last but not least is a bag that is actually my newest bag, but I think that it's super special. I'm just gonna show it to you guys. I feel like you guys will understand when you see it. Look at this beauty. Me personally, just knowing that a lot of these big designers don't do collaborations with many African-American people, there's a black boy on this bag. And I just feel like it was so beautiful. This is art to me. So I haven't even worn this bag in. I honestly don't know if I will. The boy is hand painted, like it's actually texturized. You can feel the paint in like the different brush strokes. And I just feel like this is a timeless beauty. We probably will never see this again, so I had to when I saw it. Let's just do a little bit of a recap here. We had our rainbow Chanel. We had our classic 30 Birkin. We have our ball, which is trying to roll away on us. Of course, Thelma and Luis. We had this beautiful, exclusive to South of France Gucci bag. This beautiful crocodile Louis Vuitton. Super, super vintage Chanel heart bag. This beautiful hand painted Louis Vuitton bag. And of course, Big Daddy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know below which one's your favorite. Um, let me know if you guys have any of them. We might be bag sisters. Hey twin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, to comment, to subscribe so you guys don't miss another video. Let me know if you guys wanna see some more stuff in this closet. Like we can dig into it. We can get into my style because I know I kind of have like my own little style. Let me know if you guys even want a part two of bags. You know, I, I guess I'm here.